welcome if you're someone who's been here before welcome to you thank you for coming back today it's um an ebay ebay even sales report as usual it's not very good i've not sold a lot i've sold an item that smells of wee that's coming back and i've apparently um sent the wrong pair of shoes to someone so that's coming back as well but i'll tell you about them as we're going along so i'll get my phone and we'll go through what we sold and then at the end i'll tell you about um the smelly uh, bag that i sent out to someone that smells of wee or damp just stunk apparently <laughs> so i'm gonna say i've got my phone i'll try and go through this really quick because although there's not a lot lot this was um, from the 8th to today's date, which is the 21st. Not a lot if you're a proper <laughs> reseller, but for me, it's a decent amount. I've reduced loads and loads of stock because I just want to get rid of everything because, yeah, I'm fed up with seeing the same stuff. So, I'll do really, I'll try and go really, really fast, I promise. First item, pair of car, uh, Carvella shoes, sold for £20, proper paid again. Most shoes I pay four or five pounds for, so unless I say different, that, that's generally the price. These pair of shoes, I can never say the name, Tasmir or something, <laughs> sold for £14 and I've had positive feedback, so brilliant. This key ring, I've had positive feedback, this is from somebody who's bought a couple of items from me. So for uh, four pounds, this is part of my old Amazon stock. Same as these little cats. Brunch so for five ninety nine, and I've had positive feedback. So brilliant, thank you. Same with these owl necklaces. The three of them sold for a fiver. These hotter shoes sold for twelve ninety nine. This CD case <laughs> sold for six ninety nine. This was part of a bundle that I had off shot. These men's hotter shoes sold for ten pounds. These Primark trousers sold for a grand total of two ninety nine, but these were originally mine, and I actually bought them from Primark. There was a second I actually went to a proper shop and bought some trousers that I never wore, and this uh, bag that's gone abroad sold for three ninety nine. I'm sure I got these from the pound shop. These this um, light up boot sold for one ninety nine. This was part of the bundle. Um, that I had off shop and uh, sold to a subscriber so thank you Heba because she's left me look um sorry scratching now she's left me nice feedback as well so thank you these CDs yeah CDs 14.99 these were Liam's found them in the cupboard he didn't want them so I sold them this uh, where's all gummy sold for 4.99 I can't even remember buying this but I love where's all gummy <laughs> and I said the person who bought it love where's all gummy as well these are the shoes sold for ten pounds. This logic, the logic digital frame again, part of the bundle from Shopped, sold for eleven ninety nine. These Vandal shoes that are coming back sold for ten pounds. I'll talk about them in a minute. <laughs> These Mister and Mrs SpongeBob again sold to somebody who's bought a couple of items from me for a fiver. This Bear Factory bunny sold for fourteen ninety nine. I can't remember where I got it from. Can't remember. But anyway, I got £14.99 for that. A key ring again, sold for £3.50. Not brilliant, I know, but it's stock that I've had forever. <laughs> These Vandal shoes sold for £11.99. These, I've got a Post Clark shoe, sold for £12.99. These key rings, I think I sent an offer to Watcher for £7. Did I say key ring then? Necklaces. <laughs> Necklaces. So, that's everything that's sold. Not a lot, <laughs> but so oh no, say so tell you about the the cock ups that I made this past week or so. Well, the first one I'm a bit puzzled about is remember I told you about that face massager thing that the person wanted to return because they couldn't get the clip on. They haven't returned it yet, and it's gone past the date. I think they had the fifteenth to return it, and they haven't returned it or marked it as dispatch or anything, and. It's still showing up as my, um, you know, where it's got your items sold. It's still showing up as return requested, request return even, no, return requested. So I don't know how to get rid of that now. Have I got a phone eBay? I really don't know. And the next item that I've given a refund is this 
bag basically i wonder if i can find the messages let me see if i can find the messages hang on bear with me a sec i'll find the message and get back to you find the messages every time i try and log on to it where it says about the case then i've got to log on again and i'm like oh. basically that bag i remember when it sold and i went up in the loft and got it and just packed it because i had a few items that sold and i literally just packed it into the poly bag into the clear one first and into the bag you know the packing bag <laughs> and posted it and the message i got back from the buyer was um basically it so either stinks of wee, but they said you wrong, they didn't say wee, or damp, it stinks, the one to return it. So I'm like, I didn't notice any smell on it. Like, but, you know, it was up in my loft. Nothing else seems to smell of damp up there, but I have had it a while. So I worked return to return anywhere. So I accepted the return and then I thought about it. And the next day, and I thought, well, it could have smelled of damp. And if it does smell of damp, do I really want it back? I didn't smell any damp. I swear to God, I did not smell any damp on it at all. And I've been up in my loft and no, I can't smell damp at all. I don't know. And, it's, and they said it's not the normal quality of this bag as well. And I'm not happy to accept the return. And then the next day, I just thought, just give them a refund. It was, I forgot how much was it. Was it £12 or something? It will show on the screen. I just thought... I was in one of them, you know, when you get in their moods where you're not bothered anymore. Does anybody else get in their moods? I think it didn't help that I'd had a neutral feedback from the, the person in France because I apparently didn't tell them. Well, I didn't tell them because I didn't know that to pay. Was it stamp? Not stamp duties. Duty. You can see on my feedback. They had to pay import duties, I think it was, for a C two CDs that are posted to France. And then they've left me neutral feedback, which is not bad. It could have been negative, but they left me neutral feedback mentioning that. And it's pouring down my rain and saying about um, the case was cracked as well, which they never mentioned that when they emailed me to complain about the, uh, the postage and everything. So that had kind of like, you know, when you get a bit disheartened. So when I had this person message me to say the bag smelled damp, I just thought, you know what? just have your money back <laughs> you, know, you know one of them where I'm like I can't I can't be bothered with paying for it to come back and relisting it again and all that sort of stuff but then you get super paranoid then didn't you basically after that had happened and I'd refunded them somebody bought that teddy and that gets it down from the loft and to me it smelled fine but because somebody's mentioned damp or we urine I've got it in my head then that everything smells. So I'm like, I sprayed it with, what did I spray it with first? I sprayed it with this stuff. That first, which is what I normally use on most stuff. I left it the next day because I've got a five day dispatch now. And I thought, is that going to be okay? Because you know when you've got something in your head then and you think fixated on it then. And Liam mentioned about some other stuff that he'd seen that kills 99% of the germs and doesn't smell or something it smells at first but then they not smells horrible smell but when he showed me the link you can only get it online so basically i've ordered i sprayed it with this stuff dettol sprayed it with dettol uh wet spray and wear instant refreshes clothes i'm not sponsored by, by the way but it's peed me off because i've had to buy on amazon prime 10 of them <laughs> because i couldn't get them in the shop so i googled it and they weren't selling in any shops and i thought i, I now i've got a five day dispatch but i don't want to spend three days searching around trying to find this stuff so i sprayed it with that left it overnight and i've got to be honest the next day it smells exactly the same like but if it did smell but maybe i'm nose blind i mean i'm, I'm bloody colour blind so maybe i'm nose blind as well i don't know so yeah so basically i've sprayed it with that and now i'm praying that they don't say it stinks they probably say it smells of bloody whatever that is where is it lily water lily they'll probably i'll probably get a negative now saying it stinks of water lily i was like oh, okay 
but yeah so I just got really disheartened with eBay and everything and then then pair of shoes that I mentioned that are getting returned the buyer saying that I've sent them the wrong ones so I've asked for a photo so it's really sorry can you send me a photo of what you've got because I thought if I've sent them the wrong shoes and I've still got the pair of shoes that they've got advertised when I go to find them I ain't gonna be able to bloody find them so unfortunately I think the buyers knew to eBay and they don't know they sent me a picture but it was basically a screenshot of the shoes that the advertisement of the shoes and then they're saying to me how do I return them and I've the return's been accepted now I've never returned anything to eBay myself I mean the other week I bought two pairs of work trousers and when they come I didn't like them but I couldn't be bothered to send them back so I'll just give them away so I've never returned anything to eBay so I don't know the actual procedure as a buyer returning stuff so the buyer at the moment is has sent me a couple of messages how do I do it and I'm like well it should show you on eBay how to do it but I don't know I really don't know never having sent something back myself really don't know I says it should I've been as I've accepted your return request it should tell you and I don't think the buyer understands how to and my last message to her was maybe if you take it to the post office and send it back that way I don't know I can feel a negative coming on. <laughs> so basically, the buyer's got the wrong pair of shoes. I don't know what she's got because she says she can't understand how to send me a picture of the shoes she's got. She can't figure out how to send them back and are pretty much useless. And I basically, like I said, I basically says, um, contact, uh, either take it to the post office or contact eBay because I just assumed when you accept the return, it will automatically let them print a return label, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so my heart is not in eBay this week at all, to the point where I'm seriously considering putting all my shoes on a one ninety nine auction, because I'm sick of seeing them. And I'm sick of, um, I mean, I had a message last night, somebody asking me what width a pair of shoes were. And I know I shouldn't admit this, but I couldn't even be asked to go up in the loft to have a look. I know it's really bad. So I basically sent a message saying I don't know. <laughs> you know, I know it's bad and I know it's wrong. And I'll never be a, a power seller with this attitude. But eBay's got me down this week. I think a mixture of the bag stinking, the neutral feedback, the wrong pair of shoes and not selling much. Apart from that, everything's great. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with eBay at the moment. I, when I say I love reselling, I have to sit down and think, do I really love reselling? I think the main bit I love about reselling is just buying stuff. And obviously that's not, um, that's not going to get me very far, is it? But anyway, <laughs> if you are an eBay reseller, I, I, well, you can't do any worse than me at the moment, to be fair, but... I think I'm going to put all my shoes on a 199 auction because I just don't want to deal with shoes. I mean, one the charity shop down the road was actually open yesterday and I seen a pair of paver shoes for, I think it's £3. And normally I would have snapped them up, but I just walked past them. Don't want to know. But don't want to know with shoes, thank you. They probably stink. <laughs> probably get them out, put them up for sale and somebody will say they stink and I'm like, okay. But anyway, I've got, I've, got, I've got loads of air fresh. I've got loads of um, dental sprays now. So I can spray my own clothes. But now, like I say, everything that I do sell is going to get bloody sprayed, whether they want to be or not, just in case. That's it. I didn't notice any smell on the bag. I didn't. If I'd noticed a smell, I would have sprayed them or sent them a message and I've lost it. <laughs> you know? Fortunately, I've lost this bag. <laughs> Here's your refund if I'd noticed they'd smell, but I didn't notice any smell on them. But I've just given them a refund. <laughs> so I'm waiting now to see what uh, what feedback, if they do bother giving feedback. So yeah, so thank you all for watching. I know it's a bit of a moany video, it is, isn't it? A bit moany. <laughs> So thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and takes the time to leave a comment. Good luck with your sales. Okay, bye.